Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Cutter One. I am your host, Jay, just Jay, your resident troublemaker and your resident culture warrior. I hope you are all doing awesome as we approach the end of this week and, uh, and, and cruise on into the weekend. Anyway, potentially awesome story, potentially, I say potentially, all right, because we, we don't know all the details just yet, but you're hearing this first here, folks, okay, I haven't seen anybody else on YouTube mentioning this yet, so I, I, I'm going to toot my own horn and say you're hearing this here first, okay, um, but check it out, we potentially have new Lord of the Rings movies in the works at Warner's New Line Cinema. Uh, the studios have struck a multi-year pact with Swedish gaming giant Embracer Group, which holds the film rights to the property. So let's see what they have to say. It says, Warner Brothers and New Line are going back to Middle Earth, with the studio making a deal that will allow it to develop more Lord of the Rings movies. The multi-year pact with rights holders Embracer Group AB allows Warners to develop features based on J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings books and The Hobbit. Embracer Group, the Swedish gaming company, acquired the rights to produce Lord of the Rings films, games, merchandise, theme park attractions, and live productions when it purchased rights holder Middle Earth Enterprises last year from the Saul Zenz company. The move announced during Warner Brothers Discovery's investor call Thursday, comes as CEO David Zasloff seeks to assure Wall Street that Warner's is very much in the franchise game. Here, harking back to the 2000s glory days when the studio was minting money with The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. In November, Zasloff said he would like to make a deal with author J.K. Rowling, for more Harry Potter, and initially floated the notion of a Lord of the Rings return. Peter Jackson directed the Lord of the Rings trilogy, released from 2001 to 2003. The series earned a combined $2.9 billion at the box office, with 2003's Return of the King winning the Oscar for Best Picture. Jackson returned to direct the Hobbit trilogy, 2012 through 2014. New Line already had the animated feature The War of the Rohirrim on the calendar for 2024. In a statement, Jackson and his Lord of the Rings partners, Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens, noted they were aware of the latest development, said the trio, quote, Warner Brothers and Embracer have kept us in the loop every step of the way. We look forward to speaking with them further to hear their vision for the franchise moving forward, unquote. Jackson previously noted that Amazon asked him to be involved on its Lord of the Rings TV show, but then did not follow up. The rights to Tolkien's works have always been a little dicey, and a legal dispute between Warners and the Tolkien estate went on for years before set being settled in 2017. A newer complicating matter from a consumer standpoint, Amazon holds the TV rights to The Lord of the Rings, with its mega-budget Rings of Power debuting last year. One question the new series of films will face is how to convince audiences to go to the theater if they can get their fix at home. Simple. Let Peter Jackson write your stories and make your films. Um, anyway, I, I, I digress. Um, when they can get their, the same fix at home. One big difference here is Amazon focuses on the second age, thousands of years before the events of the films. The movie rights have focused on the third age, when the best known events happened and most beloved characters lived. It's possible that Warners now could focus on new stories centering Tolkien's big guns, such as Gandalf, Bilbo, and Aragorn. And of course, as much as new movies present opportunities for big franchise swings, they will come under fan scrutiny, just as much as the current Warner, Warner's franchise plays, such as DC and Fantastic Beasts do. In a statement, those working on the projects acknowledge the task ahead. We understand how cherished these works are, and working together with our partners at New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers Pictures, we plan to honor the past, look to the future, and adhere to the strongest level of quality and production values, said Lee Guinchard, CEO of Free Mode, which is part of Embracer. And Warner Brothers film bosses Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abde signaled that they are not interested in a retread of what Jackson has already done, saying in their own statement, 20 years ago, New Line 
took an unprecedented leap of faith to rea realize the incredible stories, characters, and world of The Lord of the Rings on the big screen. The result was a landmark series of films that have been embraced by generations of fans. But for all the scope and detail lovingly packed into the two trilogies, the vast, complex, and dazzling universe dreamed up by J.R.R. Tolkien remains largely unexplored on film. The opportunity to invite fans deeper into the cinematic world of Middle-earth is is an honor, and we are excited to partner with Middle Earth Enterprises and Embracer on this adventure. The deal is not only coming home, is not only a coming home for Lord of the Rings, but also a reunion for Deluca. The executive was president of production for New Line when the first film in the earlier trilogy, The Fellowship of the Ring, began production. But he was famously let go before the movie was released. All right, folks. So I mean, there you have it, and you're hearing it here first i haven't seen anybody else on youtube talking about it yet so what we have here is what we ha it has been officially announced is that warner brothers and new line cinema have inked a deal with the rights holders to lord of the rings and the hobbits for them to make more lord of the rings slash hobbit based films okay meaning probably the appendices or some alternate version like get, getting stories that that aren't necessarily um the focus of the the lord of the rings trilogy um and also apparently fran walsh and peter jackson and um uh oh god philippa boyens have also been kept in the loop in this so that that's a good sign i'm, I'm gonna read that as a good sign that you're having new line and warner brothers looking to do more lord of the rings and the fact that Peter Jackson, uh, Walsh, and Boyens are being kept in the loop in the inner circle on this. That that gives me some hope. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. It's a, exciting news if you're a Tolkien fan, um, and we may actually get to watch Rings of Power crash and burn because the movies are coming out. Wouldn't that be a kicker, right? Wouldn't that be fun to watch the movies become huge successes and... Um, and the show sort of fall on its face. Um, at the same time, at the same time, we don't know what what you know is the, what is the plan. You know what they're gonna do. You know if it, it'll be like an uh, Gandalf based film or something like that. We don't know yet, so we'll have to wait and see as more information comes out. But I wanted to be the first one to let you guys know that the Rings of Power is not going to be the only choice that you have for. Um, for getting your fix of Middle Earth. Apparently, Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema, potentially Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens um, may all be returning to Middle Earth to give us more stories, hopefully done correctly. If Peter Jackson's uh, track record is any indicator, I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, right? Um, let Peter Jackson do his thing and, and we should be good. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Now, here's the thing. Okay, um, if you are also subscribed to other channels, I know you guys, are, a lot of you guys and gals are subscribed to other, other channels and stuff like that. Um, spread the word for, for, for those folks to come check this out because, it, and, and the, re, the only reason why I'm, I'm saying that is um, not because I'm looking to hog the, the limelight or anything like that. It's just because very early on, for those of you who are, you know, who joined the, the, the channel very early on, um, like in the first like month or or so you'll remember that i was sort of the first out of the gate with a lot of stories but simply because my channel is so small compared comparatively speaking to other folks um i sort of got lost in the shuffle like there was it sometimes where i was breaking rings of power stories a day or two before some of the bigger channels were um but nobody was noticing because my channel was so small right and again i'm not complaining about that not 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 bitching or anything like that but you know, something like this, which is potentially great news for Tolkien fans. Um, yeah, I would like it if, you know, people would acknowledge like, hey, you know what? Cutter won. You know, he's been holding the line and he was the first to get this little bit of intel to us. Um, and so we got to give him props for that. It would just be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, you know. I'm glad that I could be the first out of the gate with this information. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited to hear that news? Um, do you think if they just let Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh and Philip Aboyans, let them do their magic and see if we can't, you know, rekindle that spark that they had with the Lord of the Rings? Um, 
uh, you know, what do you guys think of that? Does that give you that sort of like giddy, hopeful excitement feeling that I'm I'm feeling right now? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Remember, if you like the video, like the video. If you feel like sharing the video, I, I highly recommend it specifically with this one. Um, it does help us with the YouTube algorithm, but also at the same time, it lets people know that, yo, this cutter guy, you know, he keeps his, his, his you know, his his nose to the to the, the ground and so to speak with with keeping an eye on things and keeping an eye on stories so so yes by all means feel free to share the video and if you haven't subscribed yet i would hope that you would consider subscribing um and join the army of beautiful badasses um we will hold the line for tolkien and his work and uh yeah hopefully we'll have a reason to to be happy and cheer soon if we get more info about this um and if you uh, are a returning subscriber as always you guys know i do this for you guys so um yeah all right beautiful badasses you, you know what to do let's uh let, let's rejoice we we get we get a story we can celebrate all right guys i will talk to you soon remember to be good be awesome be safe but more importantly to stay more dorkish peace